Hey guys, I hope you're all well. I am really trying to avoid saying welcome back to my channel because I really need to think of a better opening to my videos, but thank you very much for watching this anyway. And today's tutorial is going to be on trying to kind of replicate a bit of a sunset look with your images um, in a fairly natural way. If you guys are like me and you are photographers um, and you do plan shoots around lighting and especially like golden hour when it's like such a beautiful time to shoot during the day. Uh, you'll know what I mean when I say it's really annoying when things don't go your way as far as the weather's concerned. And then, you know, you get clouds, it's overcast and you just don't get that really nice light that you're after. And it sucks because when you're actually planning a shoot around uh, the lighting, you just don't get the results that you want in the end if it's overcast and it's just not the right, the right lighting that you want. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how to kind of replicate a bit of a, a sunset effect with your photographs. So in case this does happen to you, because it's happened to me a lot in the past. So I'm going to give you guys a bit of a warning. It's not going to look exactly really, really natural because it is really hard to kind of replicate that, that natural kind of golden hour look. But I'm going to try my best and I'll show you guys what I do if the weather's not looking great on the day or I have to give it that bit more warmth. Okay, so the first step I like to do is just by giving the base image a little bit more warmth. So I like to do that by either using selective color or curves. And today I'm gonna to use curves because I think that'll be probably a little bit easier to do. So I'm gonna start with the red channel and I'm just going to bring up the curve a little bit. And then I'm going to change the yellows as well, the blue channel. So I'm going to bring that down probably to about here. I'm actually going to have the blues up a little bit because I think a lot of the time when people are re replicating like a sunset effect with their photographs, they forget that um, in this circumstance, especially, um, with this model and because it is a backlit image her skin tone should still be fairly cool um, and should have some blue tones in it behind her should be warm if that's making any sense at all so i'm going to show you guys what i mean um, so if we want to make this look as natural as possible we're going to make the background look warmer and have her skin tone still kind of cooler looking so Just trying to get her skin tone still looking kind of even and not too yellow. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I'll just show you guys what that's done. So it's just given it a little bit more yellow and red in the background there particularly. After we've done our curves layer, I'm just going to show you guys, I, I like to duplicate the background layer and dodge any areas that should be a little bit lighter. So probably her hair where there's any highlights will help it give that golden hour kind of effect and that glow. And oops, too much. Um, anywhere where the light's sort of hitting, like just on the side of her face and just on her body here and maybe just in the background a little bit. Okay. Once you've done that, the next step would be to get a bit of a red haze. So if you've seen sunset shots, um, they will a lot of the time have like a bit of a red ring kind of around the golden glow. So I'll show you guys what I mean by that. I'm going to actually create a new layer. So just by clicking on this button here. And I think a burgundy kind of red is probably the best sort of red to use here. So I'm just going to use the one actually that I've got there. And I'm going to make sure that I've got a very soft brush as well. The hardness is right down. And I'm just going to place that just around the image where I want the haze to kind of be. Probably best not to get overboard with this, but it doesn't matter if it's not perfect, I guess. And I'm going to choose screen for this one. So I'm going to bring that right down as well to probably around 30% and maybe just extend that a little bit further down and maybe a bit more down there. 
All right, so as you can see, you've kind of got that red haze happening now, and it's a good base for the glow that we're about to create in the sky to make it a little bit brighter and actually make it look like the sun's shining through the clouds, which on this particular day, it was not. And I was pretty upset about it because this was one of those shoots that I had planned around golden hour and it just didn't happen for me, unfortunately, that day, but not to worry. So the next layer I'm going to create, it's just going to be another blank layer and I'm going to create a white glow. So I'm going to make sure the brush is still big, so probably even a bit bigger. And I'm just going to click just where it is already quite bright. And I'm going to choose soft light. So that's already made it a lot brighter on this side, which is kind of good. It helps. And just thinking I should probably make it a little bit glowier there too. And I'm not going to change the opacity on that because I think that's fine the way it is. What I am going to do is just create a selective color now while I remember. And I'm going to take some of the yellows out of the image because I'm going to um, add, a, add a few more golden tones. So I don't want it to be too yellow. So particularly with the skin tone, I'm just going to bring that down a fair bit. And so it doesn't look too yellow here. So we've done that. And the next layer will be a gradient. So you can create a gradient by using adjustment layers just down the bottom here and selecting gradient. And we're going to choose radial and the color that we're going to choose is a yellow. So a golden yellow to really give it that warmth. So that's perfect. Okay. And we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Probably about that size and click OK. So we're not going to actually leave it there. Um, I am going to change the blending mode to soft light. And I'm actually going to rasterize this layer actually now so I can move it to where I want it to go. And you can just do that by saying layer, rasterize and layer. So that's done and we can move it just up into the corner here to give it more of a yellow glow. And I'm just going to actually erase just the bottom of that gradient because it is looking a little bit um, sharp down the bottom there. You could kind of see a line. Okay, and now we're going to give the overall image a little bit more warmth. So we're going to create a new solid color and it's going to be like an olivey kind of browny yellow, if that is a color. And we'll click OK. And I think we'll change that one to color dodge and bring that down, right down to around yeah, 10%, 11%. So I'll show you guys what that's done. That's just given a little bit more brightness and a little bit more of a golden tone. I'm trying not to use colors that are too out there at the moment. I just want it to look as natural as possible. I'm probably going to just move that red haze down a little bit at the moment, maybe to about 27. And I might actually, while I'm thinking about it, I might change the gradient and make it a little bit more, a little bit bigger actually. So I'm just going to choose, you know, I'm just going to choose a random yellow kind of gold color. Get a big brush and I'm going to change the opacity to 25% and just add a few more golden kind of touches, I guess. So we can just change the opacity on that a little bit, just even further to not make it too yellow. Okay, and this next step is actually uh, optional. So you don't have to do this and I don't always do this with my images if I'm creating this kind of look because I think sometimes it can come off looking a little bit too fake and looking like you have just placed it in there. But sometimes it works and you can create it in Photoshop quite easily. So I'm just going to click back on the background layer and go to filter, render and lens flare. So this will help it 
I guess the sunset look of it and I think we'll place it right where the light is there and I'm gonna just leave it on 50 to 300 millimeter and probably around this area I guess and press OK alright so it's it's gonna give you that kind of I guess the effect that you are shooting into the light so I'm just going to take a snapshot and show you the progress so far. So that's what it looked like before and this is what it looks like now. What I am going to do is just make it a little bit cooler on her skin tone. As I said before, some of this should really be kind of a little bit more blue. Um, I'm going to erase just a bit of the redness from her hair as well. Just change the opacity on the eraser. Just so it's not too red. And just to make sure that nothing's too over the top there. And now there's a few ways to do this in making her skin tone look a little bit cooler. But I'm just going to do it a really easy way and just click on new layer. And I'm going to get kind of a coolish blue color. And I'm going to put it all over her face. <laughs> and making sure that the opacity is low. So I've got it at 25% and I'm going to click soft light. So soft light's probably going to work quite well actually with this. And it doesn't have to be really, you know, neat either when you are doing this. So screens probably not going to work. Multiply. Let's try soft light again. And we'll just bring the opacity down a little bit further. So that's just kind of removed a bit of the redness from her skin tone, which I think works a fair bit. Um, what I'm still not happy with actually is just with the red ring. Sometimes this will be really trial and error, as I said before. So you might just need to see what's working for the image. And if it's not working, then just, yeah, remove it or try something different. So... Okay, I'm pretty happy with that at the moment. I'm just going to change the curves actually and going to bring a little bit more blue into the image. Maybe a little bit more yellow. So even if I up the blue a little bit on this side and just a bit on this side. I never really wanted this image to be too golden, I don't think. So, and if you're trying to go for a natural kind of sunset look, I think it's good not to do that. Okay, so we'll take another snapshot and we'll see what the original looks like. And this is what it looks like now. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think it gives it a relatively natural look. As I said, you can remove the uh, lens flare but I think in this case I think it does work pretty well with the image if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please let me know and if you'd like to see more tutorials like this one um, definitely let me know because I'm always happy to do them as usual and please let me know if there's anything in particular you would like to see with my channel I'm I'm always up for taking requests thank you very much guys for watching and I will see you next time bye